Hey there guys, got a huge amount of requests to test the next light. Um, I'm trying to see why after um, after putting it up for test and uh, having a look at it closely. And the main draw for this light is that it's a big 630 watt light, LED bar type, um, shows specifies high efficiency LEDs and drivers etc. But it's very cheap, or at least low cost, to $799 retail. Um, and you can buy it on Alibaba. So a lot of people looking around, looking for good value, and I think I've spotted this light and um, got in contact with me to test it. So we got in contact with Key Beast. They sent us uh, their light through, and uh, yeah, I've had a look at it. And yeah, you, you will definitely be surprised by this guy. So starting off the LED bars, you see here, We've got lots of uh, Samsung LM301Hs, which are um, high output, high efficiency um, white LEDs. We've also got Osram red LEDs there as well, which um, uh, a little red spike on the spectrum and improved the system efficiency overall. Um, then you've got little uh, red, far red I should say, sorry, and UVA LEDs. And these guys fill out the spectrum. I'm not um, convinced by UVA LEDs. Uh, I think they're just basically a deep blue and they do add a bit photosynthetically and they will, you know, the blue will, will keep the plants short. Um, but other than that, I don't think they improve potency or anything like that. I think you need the UVB for that. Uh, far red, um, again, is photosynthetically active. Not as much as, as red. But, um, and too much in my view will cause plants to stretch. There's a small amount here, so it's not doing any harm and it is filling out the spectrum. So yeah, they've thrown everything out of it anyway with regards to the LEDs. You can see, I think from the shine, if I can get that there, that there is no protection on the LEDs. So they're not silicon coated or um, acrylic coated or anything like that, which is a, a little bit of a pity, but uh, no worries. You can still clean them down. Just be very careful uh, if giving them a wipe. They are protected with this uh, frame, sits proud. And they're quite a solid, in terms of the LED bar themselves, quite a solid connection. They fit, fit into the frame here, so there's two runners at each end. That the wiring runs through and the bars clip into. You get these block connectors, so that's just a physical connector and then this one uh, it's very rudimentary but it works and it's robust that's a uh, the electrical connector uh, six bars in total on the rig you can see here the uh, driver sits on top of here it's uh, it's actually you can just slide along there which is not a problem you also get extra long cables so that you can um, mount the driver remotely, which is uh, which is a good feature. Uh, it's it's uh, should be on all bar lights really, to be honest. Uh, so we just snap this in. It assembles really easy. Switch it on, and uh, yeah, on the driver as well, you get a dimming function, which is really nice. You get uh, switches to on and off the UVA and far red LEDs, and uh, yeah, overall, um, you get a you get a really nicely uh, fitted out light. Kind of basic in construction and design. It's not an amazing looker or anything like that, but uh, it's very solid, and uh, yeah, performs well. So recommendation is to put it in a four by four, which is how I tested it. Uh, 12 inches or 30 centimeters hanging height and it does brilliantly it delivers an average of 900 uh, just 984 micromoles uh, in a 4x4 which really means at a very high level um, you got to have everything on point to take advantage of that high intensity um, I would suggest personally that this could go into a 5x5 five five. you'd be getting about probably about 700 micromoles in a 5x5 five five. But, um, which would uh, would be high performance without pushing the plants too hard. As I said, you can see the spectrum there. 
It's got the UVA and far red little blips at each end of the power spectrum and you got that little blip for the red. Otherwise it's a sort of mid color temperature white. And uh, yeah, spread is really good. Um, very even, very uniform across the 4x4, so it's excellent that way. And uh, yeah, as I said, most of all, it's about the price. Previous video, just recently, I, sh I compared a lot of grow lights for both fixture cost in terms of power output per dollar cost, uh, fixture cost, um, and I also ran the numbers to basically to deliver the equivalent of 750 micromoles to a grow area uh, and add up the fixture cost and running cost over three years for a number of fixtures and this guy came out top. $799 in the US, uh, a bit less than Alibaba but you've got to pay for taxes and, and shipping charges and all that stuff coming in. Um, makes it really really good value for money and the high efficiency of 2.27 micromoles per watt in the efficiency test um, means that it uh, it is also efficient to run so yeah it comes out on top closely followed by the micro array and then um, lumatech uh, or Photon Tech, as they're called in the US, came in third, all very closely grouped together, very little in between them. And uh, yeah, so happy to re recommend this light, very good value for money. It is what they say it is. Uh, as I said, good build, good build quality, and um, yeah, all of the things that you would want from uh, a high performance large grow light. So well done to Geek Beast, thanks for sending the fixture through. And, uh, yeah, let us know if you need anything else or uh, you want any other lights tested uh, or you have any queries or comments about this one in particular. Take care. Bye.